happy Thursday. We're making creamy keto taco soup. You are going to love this recipe. It is a family favorite, like literally, this is why the big pot comes out when it does. It's ridiculous. Like if I don't make at least a double batch of this when I make it, there's not enough for everybody for dinner. It's ridiculous. The kids will eat like <laughs> four bowls each, I think. Like, it's crazy. Like they both called me, what time do you want us home, mom? When's dinner gonna be ready? Are you making the creamy taco soup? Yeah, yeah I am. Like, ridiculousness. Anyway, so as you guys hop on, say hey in the comments, let me know where you're coming in from. I got an itch, sorry, what the heck? is happening anyway so as you guys hop on say hey in the comments let me know where you're coming in from if that thank you um if that little red live button is up there that means you are active and you're watching me live right now okay right now so if that little red live button is gone that means you're watching on the replay and you can do hashtag replay down below so I'm going to scooch you guys. There we go. So you guys can see my pan and you cannot see what I'm doing here. I'm going to scooch you down just a smidge. Okay. So I'm literally just going to cut the ends off this onion. Put it in the garbage bowl right there. We've got... so. I get our beef from my mom's farm in Eastern Washington. So it's, um, they're pretty much range cattle for the most part. So this recipe, I'm doubling it. So, oh, well, that's not good. It's not in there. I'm doubling it. So it needed, um, one pound of hamburger, but there's really two in there. And it also says to, um, make sure to, there we go. To make sure to drain it. However, you won't see me drain mine because um, our cattle had like practically no fat. So I will not be draining it just to be perfectly clear. So we've got two. Look at that. No tears shed cutting an onion. That's a miracle. All right. Come back up and see me. Hello, hello, hello. Look at all you guys. Oh, I missed. Did I miss some questions? Uh, no. Hello. Oh, look at all you guys saying hello. Look at you being all good. All right. So if you guys have never met me, my name is Jenny Lynn Curry. I live here in Sumner, Washington with my husband and all of our kids. And I've been keto now almost two years. I have Hashimoto's disease, so um, I started keto for energy. Um, not necessarily the weight loss part. I mean, I, I needed that too. I still need that. But I needed it for the energy and the mental clarity because my thyroid medicine made me feel like I was in the deepest fog known to man. Anybody else have that problem? Like you wake up, you can eat, drink an entire pot of coffee, do all of the things, still be exhausted, and then you go to bed and you can't sleep. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's why I started keto. The last six months though, with the kids being home, homeschooling and doing all of the distance learning, let me know if you're a distance learning parent because wow we should all have a drink together like i don't really drink but i'll drink some club soda with you because holy hannah um let's just be real for a minute like i'm like oh everything's okay it's going great and in the back of my mind i'm like if i have to do this one more day somebody might die like oh, i'm not kidding it's real up in here y'all it is real up in here all right, so I've got two pounds of hamburger if you're following along with the recipe. I am doubling this recipe. So when I post it, 
it will not be a doubled recipe. It'll be a single recipe for four, pe four to six people. Um, so this is a double recipe. Two pounds of hamburger, one onion, two cloves of garlic. I just did two tablespoons of diced. Then I'm going to add in some cumin and some chili powder. Woo, chili powder facial. Hello. All right. So we're going to let this cook for a couple more minutes. Let that meat marinate in that seasoning. Make sure everything's good and chopped up. I love this thing. Do you guys love this thing? Like, I love this thing. Lupe's at the hospital having a baby and she's on here watching me cook dinner. What in the heck is happening? Thank you, Esther McDonald, for sharing. If you guys get any value out of this or think my craziness deserves to be shared with the world, feel free to hit that share button. Send it out to whoever you need to. You can share it to keto groups, low carb groups, mom groups, doesn't matter. Share it wherever you want. So we're going to let this cook down for just a couple more minutes. Then we're going to add in, now keep in mind I'm doing this doubled, but we're going to add in one cup of heavy cream. We're going to add in two cartons, two cartons of bone broth and two blocks or 16 ounces of cream cheese. Shauna hates hers, really? I love that thing, and I didn't get mine from Pampered Chef. I freaking love this thing. It's like the best tool ever. Anyway. What are y'all having for dinner tonight? I totally miss Taco Tuesday, which I really think should be renamed Tequila Tuesday. Anybody else? If you agree with me, just say yes in the comments because, like I said, I don't, I don't really drink. But I think talk, uh, I think Tuesday should just be single shot Tequila Tuesday. I don't know. How about you, Nadine? John, thank you so much for sharing. So as you guys are hopping on, if that little red light button is up in the corner, that means you're live with me right now. Melissa agrees with me. That is my sister right there. So <laughs> Becky too. Yes. Preach ladies preach. Okay. So anyway, this has hamburger, it has onion, it has garlic. <laughs> I didn't know what it had in there. You guys. It has um, some chili powder and some cumin right now. Hey, Ruth Fleming. So we let that cook down. That's pretty good now. This is like super uber fast. And if you guys could smell my kitchen and you will see the kids and be like, oh my God, they totally devoured that. We're going to do two boxes of bone broth. If you make your own, more power to you, sister. There we go. All right. So we got two boxes of beef broth. We're going to do one cup of heavy cream. I always think I need um, music in the background and then I think, oh, you know what? If I had music on, I'd get like, I'd start singing to the music and then get banned from Facebook. It's what it is. Yeah, I didn't drain the meat. So if you were on when I first started, that meat is homegrown and it barely has any grease in it whatsoever. Like hardly any at all. So I don't drain it. We get ours from a mama's farm in Eastern Washington. They're mostly um, range cattle. So not a ton of fat on them. 
But man, do their steaks taste delicious. Sorry if you're like non-meat eating people. I don't know how you do it because I am a carnivore. <laughs> <laughs> all right so if you're following along we've got hamburger we've got onion we've got garlic why does that one stump me every time it stumps me every time like jeez uh hamburger onion garlic we've got cumin and chili powder we've got bone broth beef broth we've got a cup of heavy whipping cream and we've got two eight ounce packages of cream cheese so if you're doing the math 16 ounces of cream cheese, y'all. So, we're going to let this cook. With the cream cheese, you wanna make sure when you, um, when you put it in that it's pretty well softened um, because if you don't, you get the chunks of cream cheese, which I've done it both ways where it hasn't been completely softened and I have to say I kind of sometimes like the little creamy creaminess when you get a little chunk of cream cheese, but the kids don't like that so much. All right, so I'm going to put the lid on this for right now just to get this going back up to temp. When this starts to boil, we will go ahead and dump in our Rotel. There you go. Um, so it's 30 ounces or 40 ounces. It's 20 ounces for each um, each amount. I'm doubling the recipe. So for a single recipe, <laughs> good Lord, it's um, 20 ounces. So between the two, I lessened it about two ounces because this one only has 28 ounces. But with the... Um, with the beef broth, it's more than enough liquid. So anyway, let me know down below, do you guys tomorrow, do you guys want a fat bomb or do you want me to make the, um, hello, hello, catch me live from Illinois. Yeah, let me know where you guys are coming in from because there's a lot of you on here. Like, where are you coming from? So my name's Jenny Lynn Curry. If you didn't hear that when we first started, I'm here in Sumner, Washington. Um, where I live with my husband and my kids and our three dogs and our two leopard geckos and our bearded dragon. Yes, I am a mother of dragons. Both little creatures and big children. <laughs> Jupiter, Florida, Pennsylvania. Look at you old guys all over the place. What time is it? Six, seven, eight, nine thirty. Well, nine forty. What? Anyway, so tomorrow, what do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see shake and bake chicken legs? Do you want to see fat bombs? Because I used to do fat bomb and air fryer Friday nights. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Yes, tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> Had to think about that. Um, so, ch it, uh, so shake and bake chicken legs or air fryer fat bomb Friday nights. You guys choose. Lexington, North Carolina, Westmoreland, Tennessee. Holy smokes. I got all you East Coasters. What is happening? Hi from Florida. Karen really wants those chicken legs. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, all right. Fine, I'll make the stinking chicken legs. I wish you guys could smell it. Oh my God, it smells so good. Anyway, so fat bomb. Well, maybe I will, what I'll do maybe is this. I will do, I will give you a fat bomb recipe tomorrow on my page. Let me write it down so I don't forget. Y'all want a fat bomb recipe. Fat bomb. All right. So I wrote it down. I will give you guys a fat bump. Thanks. I do too. I cut off 16. Well, I didn't cut it. The lady did. But 
I had super long hair, so if you watch back of any of my other videos, they're super, super long hair. So I cut off 16 inches of my hair, 14 of it went to um, wigs for kids. So I was super excited about that. So now I gotta regrow it so I can give them some more. <laughs> so from Indiana, eat a lot of chicken since my bypass surgery. Why don't you do, heck yeah, both, we'll do it. Um, I mean, I could probably because the chicken the um, chicken legs is really easy. It's just kind of like my um, my pork chops that I did. Yes. No, day before yesterday. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. You just take the chicken legs, dredge it in a little bit of um, in a little bit of egg, and then mix it in. I'm gonna drain these a little bit. So you dredge the chicken leg in um, some egg and then you just put it in some crushed up pork rinds and Parmesan cheese and then you bake it in the oven. Or you can do it in the air fryer if you want. It's really easy. So I could probably do both live. I'm out of my chocolate chip cookie dough fat bombs. And you know what happens when I run out of fat bombs? I'll lose my freaking mind. You guys want the chocolate chip cookie dough fat bombs? Or are you guys sick of those ones? I could do a different one. It's my favorite though. I like chocolate. Anybody else a recovering chocoholic? No, just me. Melissa, what am I making? I'm making cream, well, I made it, but uh, creamy taco soup. So I'll put the recipe up for you um, when we're done, because I've done this recipe a few times. And it is hamburger, onion, garlic. I remembered that time. Ha. Uh, <laughs> I forgot everything else. <laughs> Hamburger, onion, garlic, chili powder, ground cumin, beef broth, heavy whipping cream, cream cheese, and Rotel. Ha! I got them all. <laughs> ah, me love chocolate. Yeah, I am a recovering chocoholic for sure. So I love Lily's chocolate chips, but have you guys had the Bake Believe chips? So here's a Bake Believe bar. Same thing, same packaging. The, the packages for the chips um, look like this. Like this one's the white chocolate chip Bake Believe. You guys can get this at Walmart. These are really, really, really good. And they're less expensive than Lily's chocolate chips. Um, but I will tell you, Lily's came out with some seasonal chocolate. Y'all, if you are basic like me and you like pumpkin spice, hi, we need to be best friends. <laughs> so um, they have butterscotch. They have the mint chocolate chip, which these ones literally taste like Andy's mints or uh, York peppermint patties. That's what these taste like. It's crazy. But they also have um, a pumpkin spice flavor, which I have not found yet. But let me tell you, I'm on the search, y'all. I'm going to find it. It can't hide from me. Pumpkin is life, right? Exactly. I drink pumpkin coffee with my pumpkin spice cream almost every single day. <laughs> uh, I know, that's a little much, but it's what I like, okay? It's what I like. I made pumpkin cinnamon French toast the other day. Low carb, sugar free. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Do they have lilies at Walmart? Yes. In fact, the, um, the the seasonal the seasonal ones the the butterscotch the
the chocolate mint and the pumpkin spice are at Walmart too. But yeah, for the most part, they carry a lot of keto stuff actually now. They don't carry the regular lilies, I don't think, but they do carry the seasonal ones. But they do also carry the Bake Believe, which is actually cheaper than Lily's regular chocolate, like the dark chocolate or semi-sweet. It's actually cheaper than that. So I like the Bake Believe because it doesn't have that bitter aftertaste, but it actually nets out the same for zero net carbs. So I like it. I like me some chocolate candy. Chocolate candy. Chocolate candy. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I, this is done. So this is just going to, we're going to turn this on low and let it simmer and thicken up a little bit. It's not going to be super thick. It's not a stew. It is a stew. Um, but it's so, so, so good. I'm telling you right now. So good. You're late. What the heck? Anyway, so that's it, guys. That's all I've got for you today. Come join me again tomorrow. If we're not already friends, hit that. Hit my nose. It's the big thing on my face. Hit my nose. Hit the three dots up in the corner. You'll want to hit follow and then see first. And then if you guys want to be reminded when I go live, I do have a texting service that sends out a remind right before I go live. If you want that, just drop the word remind down below. And I can give you guys the link to get into that remind so you never miss a live video. I do normally go live uh, about normally seven days a week, five to seven. I'm cooking the other two days. Um, if I don't do keto kitchens, I will do uh, quick tips. I'll get, do keto hacks. I'll do my favorite grocery, my favorite grocery stuff. I'll do meal prepping. I'll show you what I get at the grocery store all of those things so feel free to send me a friend request like i said hit the follow and see first buttons up in the corner and come join me tomorrow i'll give you some fat bombs or at least one and some chicken some 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 shake and bake chicken tomorrow and then we'll figure out what we're gonna have next week all right guys have a great thursday Happy Friday, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.